Welcome everyone to a session on automata theory and computability. In this session, let us consider few more problems on PDA for the given context free language. Let us consider the first one. Here the language L which is made up of string W from the alphabet set ABC and the definition uh, says A which is replicated I number of times is concatenated with B replicated J number of times is further concatenated with C which is replicated K number of times provided I is equal to J or J is equal to K or in other words number of A should be equal to number of B or number of B should be equal to number of C. So we have to build a PDA uh, by making sure that all the strings with either equal number of A and B or strings with the equal number of B and C are accepted. Okay, okay we will um, try to build the skeleton of the PDA by considering the uh, smallest string that is accepted. The smallest string uh, is accepted is epsilon, right? So, epsilon is nothing but uh, an empty string and in an empty string I have equal number of A and B and C, right? So, it will be equal to 0 so which satisfies uh, the condition as per the definition of the language, right? So, Q0 can be safely marked as accepting, right? And let me mark a stack context. Okay. So, this will be the stack. So, uh, what will happen if I have epsilon? So, if I have the epsilon, I will be in Q0 state and which is marked as accepting and the content of the stack is empty right so both the conditions for a pda is uh, true so epsilon will be accepted okay okay now uh, let us further improvise the pda so let me consider the first case where i is equal to j so when i is equal to j uh, i have to match equal number of a's and b's right so let me take one example 2a followed by 2b okay so when i encounter a in Q0 state, uh, what approach we can have is for every A, I will push, uh, I'll perform a push operation onto the stack, and for B, I'll perform a pop operation. So A in Q0 state, when the top of the stack is epsilon, uh, I'll push an X onto the stack. Okay, so, so the stack element uh, here, I'll be using X. So uh, for first A, X is pushed onto the stack. And the same is applicable when I push another, uh, when I encounter another A being in Q0 state. So, because we have a self loop, right? Okay. So, for the two A's, uh, this will be the content of the stack. And as soon as I start getting B, I have to perform the pop operation and go to a new state, right? So, uh, Q0 upon B. If the top of the stack element is X, I'll perform pop operation and I'll make a transition to Q1. Okay. So Q1 and um, yeah. So this will be the content of the stack after encounter 1B. Okay. And being in Q1 state, if I further encounter more uh, Bs, then it will be it should be popped out provided I have X on the top of the stack right so for this B I'll be performing pop operation okay so this is what I have uh, for the this is the situ situation if I encounter A A and B B right which is which satisfies the condition I is equal to J right so I have ended up in Q1 uh, which is an accepting state and my stack is empty right so totally fine okay now what if i encounter so let me improvise this uh, pda so let me take an example okay a a b b so what if i encounter some number of c's after it okay so if i have some number of c's okay k number of c's 
of course this should be accepted so being in q1 state if i encounter c i'll make a transition to a new state and i'll name it as q2 okay okay so what operation i need to perform on stack i shouldn't perform uh, any push operation nor i should perform pop operation right so uh, if to incorporate that i need to uh, write the transition in this way okay so q1 upon c if the top of the stack element is epsilon you pop epsilon so usually this uh, epsilon when epsilon occurs in the third part of the transition it means i am performing pop operation popping what popping top of the stack element which is written here on the middle part right so what does this do this will simply pop out epsilon right and uh, uh, this uh, popping out epsilon uh, will not result will not have any effect on the content of the stack right the stack will remain as empty okay so uh, now i'll go to q2 and uh, for the further uh, c's being in q2 again i'll perform the same operation i'll simply consume c without performing any push or pop operation okay so all this c will be consumed and i'll remain in q2 and the stack will remain empty right so this will uh, solve the problem of uh, such kind of such kind of strings a a equal number of a's and b fo followed by uh, some k number of c's right okay okay but we are not done uh, what if what if i take this as an example okay so, so what if i encounter only c's okay so if this is my string I'll write here. So this is my input string. So this is having equal number of A's and B's, right? Equal number of A's and B's, which is equal to zero. And this should also be accepted, right? So Q naught upon C, uh, when when I encounter C directly in Q naught state, I'll directly go to Q2. Okay, I'll perform the same operation. C is simply consumed without perform performing any stack operation okay so this uh, is complete this solution is complete by considering i is equal to j okay i is equal to j now we need to write a transition for the other course part where j is equal to q okay and of course we are building a non non deterministic pda uh, which will uh, have multiple paths for the same input symbol okay so uh, for j is equal to k i'll consider an example mm, i have some random number of a's followed by equal number of b and c right so what should be done with these a's these a's should be handled in the same way how c was handled in the previous case right when i is equal to j so q naught upon a q naught upon a i'll go to a state let me name it as q3 okay and um, i'll not perform any stack operation i'll simply consume a right so this is what i do okay so if i have only a's for example uh, let me remove this yeah if i have only a's then this uh, this string is having equal number of b and c and um, i'll end up in q3 state with empty stack and q3 happens to be an uh, accepting state so my string will be accepted right okay now let me add some b to it okay so if this is the case then all for all by encountering all the a's in q naught state uh, i'll end up in q3 uh, with the empty stack then in q3 now i'll encounter b right so when i encounter b i should perform push operation right so i'll push b onto the stack for the for this first key right and i'll go to q4 and now I am in Q4 state 
So what operation we need to perform on further beads? We again have to perform the push operation. So I'll push X onto the, okay, so this, this I'll mark it as X. I'll push X onto the stack. Okay, so for the 2B, uh, this is the content of the stack and I'll remain in, and I'll be in Q4, right? Now I start to encounter C. So when I encounter C, I go to a new state by popping the top of the stack element, which is X. And I'll, I'll go to a state which, uh, which should be marked as accepting. Okay, let me name this as Q5. So for the first C, this will be the content of the stack. I'll be having a single X. And for the further Cs, uh, I'll be having a self loop onto Q5 and I'll perform pop operation. Okay, so this will remove the, for the last C, this will remove the X, which was present in the stack, okay. Now, for this example, for this example, I have ended up in a Q5 state with empty stack. So my string is totally accepted according to the uh, rules of the PDA, right? The stack uh, is empty and the FSM is in accepting state. Okay. Okay. So one more case is pending. What if, what if I had not had any A's? So if I, if I had only equal number of B and C. So in this, in this case, uh, Q0 upon B, I have to make a transition to Q4. I'll make a transition to Q4. So B, stack is M, top of the stack is epsilon. I'll push X, all right? Okay. So what will happen? Again, the same thing will happen. Uh, I'll push X onto the stack upon encountering B and upon encountering C, the X will be popped out. So if there is equal number of uh, B and C, I'll end up in Q5 and the stack will be empty, right? So this uh, solution is complete, right? And this is a highly non-deterministic uh, PDA. So as you can see in Q0 itself, Q0 upon A, I have multiple paths. In one case, I'm performing a push operation, right? And in the other case, I am performing pop operation, right? So uh, the PDA will transit to multiple paths and one of the paths will lead me to the accepting condition. And the same is applicable with the B. So Q0 upon B, I'll go to Q1 by pushing, by popping B, popping uh, X. And in the other case, I'll go to Q4 by pushing X onto the stack, okay? So this is a non-deterministic PDA. Uh, now, let us write the tuple, the tuples value for this particular PDA. These are the tuple values for the small PDA. So, the first one being K, which is nothing but the set of all the states in the PDA, and it consists of Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. Then, the second one is sigma which contains the input alphabet symbol that is used in the definition of the language and these are the symbols that will be appearing in the valid string of the language, right, A, B, C. Then tau, uh, which has the stack element, okay, or the stack symbol that is used in push, push and pop operation. And S being the starting state, which is Q0, and A is nothing but a set of accepting states, which happens to be Q0, Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, and Q5. So, uh, uh, in fact, all the states in the PDA are accepting, right? And finally, delta, which um, represents the uh, transition set. Okay? So, first, uh, we have written, uh, and this since this is a non-deterministic PDA, so Q0 upon A, I have multiple transitions. Right, so one um, in one Q not make a makes a transition to itself by pushing X, and in the other one C 
Q0 make a transition to Q3 uh, by neither performing stack operation, neither the performing push nor performing the pop operation. Uh, same is applicable with Q0 upon B. Okay, so in one case it makes a transition to Q1 by popping X out and in the other case it makes a transition to Q4 by pushing X. Okay, by pushing X. And Q0 upon C will make a transition to Q2 by neither performing push nor pop, pop operation. And Q1 upon B will make a transition to itself by popping X from the stack. Okay? And uh, when Q0, Q1 upon C, it will make a transition to Q2 by not performing any operations, any stack operations. Okay. So it will simply make a transition to Q2. And Q2 upon C will remain in Q2 by neither performing push or the pop operation. And Q3 upon A will make a transition to itself by uh, not performing any stack operation. Q3 upon B it will make a transition to Q4 by pushing X. Right and Q4 upon B will make a transition to itself to it will have a self loop and it will push X onto the stack. Q4 upon C uh, will make a transition to Q5 by popping X out. And finally Q5 upon C uh, will have a transition to itself by popping X. Right. So this is a stack operation that it that it does. And these are the tuple values for this solved PDE. Okay. Uh, we'll solve few more problems in the next upcoming video. I'll see you in the next one.